Lord Howe Island is an extraordinary environment. Every day here is really like living a David Attenborough documentary. You walk out the front door and you're just surrounded and immersed in all of that nature. It's a tiny island, 11 kilometres long and about two kilometres wide and the wildlife here is amazing. We've got thousands of seabirds breeding here, we've got wonderful rainforest, we've got the world's most southerly coral reef. A big part of Lord Howe Island is taken up by our two southern mountains and because they're so tall they actually create their own cloud. The official title is the Gnarled Mossy Cloud Forest and there are only a handful of islands in the world that have such a cloud forest existing on them. That cloud provides the humidity and extra rainfall for extraordinary uh, ecosystems on the summits of the mountains. Rodents had been on Lord Howe Island since 1918 and they were eating the seeds of most of the plants including two palms that pretty much only occur on that summit forest. And it's well cool. Come back to the wind. It's 7.20. 7.20. <coughs> It took most of 2019 to carry out this project and the last live rat was found in September 2019. It's very evident to the eye there, there's a lot more fruit hanging off the trees up there and where the seeds have fallen onto the ground there's carpets of little seedlings springing up everywhere. The other big change is the increase in snails and slugs. So we're seeing visually great changes with the vegetation and with the slug populations. Well, for me, it's a thrilling thing to see the eradication and the benefits of it. And all of the island residents here are just so pleased to see the proliferation in bird life and plants not just on the summit, but right across the island, the changes are evident to everybody living here. <laughs>